farmer friend, singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're those taste bud guys. We are set up for it. We're ready to go. <laughs> Speaking of ready to go, hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us one more time. Hi, I'm Chris. That's Lyle. We're those taste bud guys. Apparently, he's a drummer now, too. No, uh, you know my rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, uh, hi, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if it's your first time, hang on. If uh, you might just want to skip to about minute three or four, uh, it's been a long night. It has been a long night. This is our sixth episode. Um, Please go and check out our friends over at Hochitown. We'll try to speed this along as much as possible. No, we won't. And um, <laughs> we're going to do another uh, ooh, splatter. Mm. We're going to do another uh, Scotch whiskey we brought back from uh, Scotland, of all places. And this one's called uh, Fettercarn. Um, it is a 16 year that Social Morgan picked out because yeah, there's some unicorns. And. Um, I don't think I've had it yet. I don't know if I trust myself to pour the peanut gallery out of this bottle. It's not my bottle. This is Morgan's bottle. This is Morgan's you bottle. Want, this you, is you the third forget, we got, most expensive one we brought back. Which, but it is a one liter. It is a uh, travel exclusive, they said, a uh, which means it come from the, you can only get it from the, we call it the, the duty free shop. You know, my favorite part about this is like, we're pouring three glasses for the peanut gallery and I feel like Jared's gonna like, eyeball them to see which one is more <laughs> probably one of them definitely felt heavier than the other two <laughs> that's all right this bottle has to go back home because morgan wants it but i also i know who's in the peanut gallery and morgan would absolutely be wanting to share it with them so oh, yes 100 percent. i love the color of this i will say for especially for a highland this is a nice dark so it's, color it's not heavily peated but i do kind of like the nose on it so Morgan popped it at the house the other night, and she was in love with it. I have, uh, I declined to have it. So there's a saltiness on the nose. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. And I don't know anything about Fettercarn, other than it's got a unicorn on the front of it, because unicorns. Or no, maybe my daughter's into this. That'd be impressive if she was. I mean, she loves unicorns. She is two and a half, so I'd be impressed, but... Me too. <laughs> Or concerned. Well, you know, I don't know. I definitely claim her. <laughs> <laughs> that one is mine for sure. Um, so there's a light penis in there. It's got a little bit of uh, that matchstick quality down in the bottom of it, but it's it's not as pretty smelling as some of the other Highlands. It's kind of got a no. There's a little. Yeah, you said matchstick. Yeah, there's a sulfur quality there. A little roughness, but I think the saltiness comes out of it as much as anything. But that's great about a Highland, though. Like, yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. I don't know. Regardless of what I say about their whiskeys, if you get a chance to go through the Highland part of Scotland, that's worth the price of admission. Maybe a little love. There's an earthiness there. I was thinking of honey, but yeah. Yeah. I said, I, I described one of the whiskeys we had earlier as a kind of a mushroom quality. And yeah, I, yeah, this one yeah. kind of has that same kind of earthy, I, I, not getting to wood tones, but, and I don't want to say moldy, but the little, yeah, a little funk, 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 a little funk to it. Funky fun guy going way under. So, yeah. Wow. Man, that's got a lot more going on in the palate than it does on the nose. That's a Highland. That's a Highland. Ooh. I think I just changed my fucking tune. 46.4%. Um, I think Social Morgan might have did a good job on that one. I... That's so good stuff. The only Highland that I can put up with my Isla favorites, right? Is it Isla or Isla? Isla. Isla. Well, there goes my... It's also Edinburgh and not Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Figure. That's fair. And who knows? Who knows? Who, who, you know what I just realized? Market. The Steelers owner uh -huh. is the other ketchup uh, people. The other ketchup people. Not Hunts. Heinz? Mm -hmm. I can't believe you think Heinz was the other ketchup people. Mm -hmm. Hunts is definitely the other ketchup people. 
Hunts is like low ball. Get the fuck out of my town! <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Are you Miracle Whip or Mayo? Neither. That shit sucks. Oh, fuck. I am pro. So we're, I am pro Mahomes. We're not even gonna have the Hellman's Dukes conversation. No, it all sucks. Jesus, this, I don't even know if we can. This might be the end of the taste buds. It's all <laughs> fucking botulism. It's okay. all botulism. That's all it is. What I was gonna say is that the only other Highland Scotch that I think is of this par. I like it on a fried the, egg pig, though. So. Like, mm -hmm, it's fair. Um, uh, is the McClellan rare, rare cask that we had. Um, not just McClellan, specifically those rare casks have so much depth of flavor for a Highland. Um, so maybe I've just been completely ignorant about Highland scotches. Um, but it's, say what? But it seems like like when you go and you're like, well, you want a Highland scotch, you want a Isla scotch or a Space Side or whatever it is. Like, you want something to blow your mind? Yeah. Finish this, and then if if everybody will bear with us, we'll we'll have a little tag on the end of this one that I want to do something with. Okay, but we'll need two new glasses. So all I was gonna say is that like <clears throat> I feel like when I go to the store here in the states, uh, and you ask for a Highland Scotch, it's like it's Glenmorangie, Glenlivet, um, Glen what Fiddick. else? Glenfiddich, you know, which are good, but they don't have this like robust flavor. That's why I tend towards the Isla Scotches. Hmm. I agree. This one has a massive depth of flavor. This but you remember that chocolatey milk flavor? Yeah. It's back again. Yes. Yeah. Which might be an indicator of some of the Highland Scotches of the things we look for and like. Mm hmm So I just, I don't know, something to think on. But um, this one's hot. I like that too. Like this is bourbon hot. If this is not a smooth, so much, the one of the things I like about scotch is that when I'm not in the mood for a real hot bourbon, I moved to scotch. So there, this is, is like a transitory scotch. Between there's a reason we brought super smooth this particular one back. Well, mm -hmm. Fetter Card in general back. Mm -hmm. You can't buy it over here. Oh. And uh, I mean, I'm sure there's some places that will import, but it was. All right, give me your glasses back. Let's pour it back in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, grab them two glasses at, at uh, Chair just sit over here. Okay. Have you ever had a Campbelltown? Uh, no. I hadn't either. Never have I ever. It says Campbelltown, and if you will find that, I'll split it with you. And I don't know if we've got enough to pass around, but uh, we'll do our best to save a little for those. Never have I ever. Well, I don't know. You guys can try real hard to get a little more out of that. <laughs> okay, this one is from a uh, distillery called Ardenhoe. Ardenhoe. Well, is she not? Is she ho or ain't she? I'm not. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they're getting ready to come out with their own, um, their own line. Their new distillery. They are the tenth distillery on Isla right now. There's nine. Uh, well, there was nine. They are the tenth, but they don't have their own product yet. We'll be out this year. There's okay. an eleventh in the process. We don't know the name of. It's just called experimental at the point, which I did manage to get a little uh, experimental in. And, oh my God. But anyways. Yeah. This. Is this is even a Campbelltown, which is not on Isla. It is right above Isla and over down the road a little bit. And it is a um, blend. That's which Ardenho okay. right up. Uh, I was hugely impressed by the Campbelltown stuff because I thought if it wasn't on Isla, it just wasn't going to be as good. Okay. I'm curious what you think of this one. Uh, this was one that... Uh, so, putting it... Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough for coming off, off Federkarn. Federkarn, okay. Because this one is so deep and bold. Yeah. Um, I, we probably shouldn't have done it right to the back of it because it's smelling like it's going to be a little light. But uh, just try to keep in mind that if you hadn't had this, it it's has... Smelling. like cream soda notes, too. It does have cream soda notes, I agree. Uh, but it also ended up with a very heavily peated note um, I when I had we, it last time. we ever got to tasting notes on the Federkarn. I did. It's chocolate milk and no. deep <laughs> chocolate milk, a little bit of mushrooms, some deep cherry. I, I thought it was very good. The wood really comes through. That makes it taste weird, but man, that brings us some really interesting. Going back to that cream soda, it almost has a uh, Coca-Cola 
note that comes in with it. So what's the connection between these two? The, when you said I may have uh, been wrong and misjudged a lot of uh, those. Highlands? Yeah, the highlands. So this isn't technically a highland, but it's not an isla. It's still on the mainland. Oh, so, uh, okay. So this, so is... this is a whole brand. The Campbelltown is a whole other area. Oh. Um, uh, whiskeys that we've never really explored. Oh. oh. And so I thought okay. it might be interesting to just because we don't have enough to actually review it, but I thought it might be interesting to come in here and just kind of throw this up here as another thing that we've never really paid I mean, attention to. So here's, well, I, this is freaking delicious. I want more. It is, but it's, it, uh, but it's very not peated compared to this. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is so be beautiful. This is really much good. smoother, much uh, creamier. Um, really delicious stuff. Um, I think when I get down to it, um, it just, it's like bourbon, right? Mm -hmm. There's certain distilleries go for it and they just go, hey, you know, we're going to do our own thing and just punch it. And they're not trying for a traditional product. And I think that's where I land nine times out of 10. Uniqueness. Uniqueness. I want to know. That's where I always land on drinking. Bourbon. Yeah. So, but I think both of these do it, and, and Federkarn in particular is fantastic. I'm actually very impressed with that. For not having had it at all, I've just been going off Morgan's buy this, buy this, buy this, and uh, I got it. Mitch, she chose a good one. And it has a unicorn on it, so I'm pretty sure that my three-year-old daughter um, will approve. So, not. Interesting part. side note. No, do you know what the uh, state <laughs> animal for Scotland is? No. Unicorn. Do you know why it's a unicorn? I, uh, I, please enlighten me. Because it's the only thing that can kill a lion. You know why that makes sense? Tell me. Give you one guess what England's state animal is. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're welcome. Fair enough. <laughs> um, all right. Hey, this was a fun episode. Uh, it was. Bonus scotch. Campbelltown is a whole, whole region that we are going to see something from because I am going to search out couple of bottles in particular that I've been told I need to have, and I believe them. So. All right, so if you want some really good scotch uh, and you want to, like, snob up your friends or at least, like, take a snob down a couple notches because they probably don't know about Campbelltown. I'd say they don't know about Fetterkarn. Well, also fair or true. Um, yeah, check these out, both of them. Um, this is a phenomenal bottle. Uh, Fetterkarn is the episode, but Ardenaho is uh, the other one that we uh, sampled with, and you'll be seeing stuff from them soon. Yeah. Until next time. Whether it be the uh, scotch whiskeys that you are trying, the food you're eating, close your or the people you're meeting, grab a buddy and try something new. There's so many things in kill a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Primarily. Keep man. that keep that in. I hope that comes through. <laughs> <laughs>